So which uh, line are we taking? The Chuo Songu line, which is this one here. So this is day three and station. And then we transfer get to Nagano station, right? Yep. Okay. After Tokyo station we go on to the Hikuri. Something line? Yeah. We have all our bags. We checked out our first hotel and uh, we're gonna get going now. This is a Hokutaka Super Express bound from Kanazawa via Kanazawa. The next stop will be Oe Hokuriku Shikansen, which is a bullet train. So we're on our way to Nagano. We didn't buy an Ekiben, but which is a lunch box that you can bring onto the train and eat, but that's okay. We'll get it next time. So we got to Yodanaka, which is the snow monkey town. But we came pretty late because it just takes a long time to get here. And well, we didn't have enough time. To we got on the train, the right train, and then uh, we were worried that, or we had to change carts because we got on the cart that was for reserved tickets. Um, so when we tried to change, the train left without us <laughs> and then we had to wait another like 20-30 minutes until like the next train. Um, so this is the station here actually, that we just got off of. So we got here at like 3.30 um, and in order to get there we had to take a bus that was 15 minutes and then hike for 35 minutes. Um, so. We totally did not have enough time, and we even asked like the inf the lady at the information center, and she's like, "Oh, like, jikan, no." <laughs> like, just say it in English. Not enough time. <laughs> um, but it would have been faster if we had taken a taxi, but it's eighteen dollars per person. Yeah, uh, but then even then we will be pretty like tight on time, so probably yeah. doesn't isn't worth it because yeah. the park looked kind of big. Yeah, we wouldn't have enough time to like absorb everything, uh, so we ended up trying to look for a sushi restaurant. Um, we found it, but it didn't open until five, and it was like, like still three thirty. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we went to Lawson's, grabbed a couple of snacks, and then we found uh, like a, a foot bath onsen thing where we just like dipped your feet. In. I thought it was cold water, um, but it was like hot. <laughs> it was hot water. Uh, but it was really nice. Had a little snack there. Now we're just walking back to our hotel. Uh, chill um, out until sushi. Yeah. Five. But yeah, this town is pretty nice looking. A little cute, old school. Yeah, it's very quiet. It's very quiet. So this is inside our uh, onsen. Right, you can? I'm not too sure what. Yeah. We're just gonna make our way upstairs. The people here are super nice. And we're pretty much at the highest floor. Stairs are so steep. Okay, let's go into our room. Nice. Got a little fridge here. Like a outside sink. I think there's like a bidet in here. Oh my god, look at that greeting. <laughs> wow, it's pretty cool actually. And then this is our kind of a sleeping area. It doesn't look too bad. I thought it was gonna be like less layers, but it looks pretty thick. 
so better than sleeping it on the ground ground, so. That's the view. I think it's just uh, a bit humid and hot, that's all. I think the onsen is like under that red roof right there. Mm. The private one at least, I think. Yeah, we're gonna try to enjoy this a bit and check in later. We just got ice cream and I totally fucked up. So what they do is like they, they pulled out these like little cartridges, kind of like um, like the coffee cartridges that you put in and you close it. But pretty much he, he put, that's what he did. He put the green or the ice cream in the machine, he closed it and he pressed the button and then it will just like push this ice cream out. And he gave us the cones so that we could like put it in ourselves and Swirl Steven it. was too focused. <laughs> <laughs> on recording. Like record it and then his just went like <laughs> Yeah, mine was fat. Mine's but so it's delicious pretty. though. <laughs> yeah, so Steven yeah. got matcha, I got grape. I'm kind of on a grape kick right now because like Japan has really good grape flavor. <laughs> so we're just taking a walk now and try to enjoy this small town life. And then tomorrow, Monkey Park. Putting on our robes. Not sure if it's put it on right, but no. <laughs> it looks so weird. Hopefully we're doing it right, but I don't know. It seems pretty legit. I can't think I'm doing this wrong, and I hope we don't offend them. <laughs> it's okay. We'll figure it out. Down to the onsen. So we are inside the private onsen right now. We tried to come earlier and we thought our room key was the key to this onsen and it turns out it was not and we tried to like barge into someone doing their onsen thing like butt naked so whoops but anyways this is what it looks like They won't even know, so This is a private odd set. How are you supposed to wash yourself in this lip? Uh, with your yeah. modesty towel. There's no modesty. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna see how this goes. The hotel gives you these modesty towels. Dang, Steven. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's really creepy. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, we finished our first onsen experience and it was really interesting. Yeah, I'm so tired right now. But it was The water was so hot, I could only stay in there for like, like five minutes. Mm -hmm. But you aren't supposed to stay in there for longer than like 20 um, anyways. So. I think it was a really cool experience. Would you want to do it again? I'm good for a few days. <laughs> yeah, it was very... Mm -hmm. Like, you have to try it at least once. <laughs> so, uh... Breakfast! Yay! I got a nice spread, got some salmon, and a lot of side dishes, and uh... 
like this is soup. Yeah, some miso. Really good. And I'm pretty sure that's rice over there. This is a lot of rice though. So they start at 8 a.m. And the good thing is that we never wake up this late. Today we decided to. So I mean this early. This early. Really early. Um and we're in our own little breakfast room. Um and when we didn't come, we were like 10 minutes late. Uh, a lady came in and told us like, are you eating breakfast? And uh, yeah. So, here even though it said vegetarian, it has fish, which is great because even though vegetarian is good. <laughs> I think I they, they uh, meant pescatarian or something. Yeah, probably like that. that. Maybe has fish. Well, maybe they meant vegetarian available. Hmm. Is there um this thing. So oh, is this for tea, right? Yeah. Sure. But where's the tea? This one. I know, but like the actual bowl. Is it gotta... already in here? Or? No, no, no. I'm assuming you gotta push water into it, right? Yeah. Is there tea leaves in it or no? Uh, yeah, I know. So they give me this. I thought this was for Dukake, but I think it's tea leaves. Yeah, it's definitely tea leaves. I didn't see it, but the fish is actually really good. It's steep, so let us see really good. It'll give you like a seaweed. Just, mm -hmm. just random, yeah. I'm going to find it. Oh, did we get the exact same thing, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I, just I was like, oh my god, she's eating all the good stuff. Just kidding. Excuse me. Stop replaying my snap. Mm. He said, oh well, that toilet is dope. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> from like our snap from last night where it just like opens up when you open the door because it's motion censored. That's hilarious. Very like familiar flavors, but like kind of served in a different style. Like I, I know I've had all these things before, like miso soup and salad with sesame oil and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a nice presentation, nice experience. I didn't even know it was a big old plum. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm gonna guess that it is. It's oh, it smells. Nice. Oh, yeah, hard. Is there a seed in it? Is it sour? Oh. 
That's very like oh. super super sour. <laughs> How could you keep such a straight face? Mm. I'm like salivating. Oh. I wonder if it's like super ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I just had my veggies left. Or fruit, sorry. And my tea, and I'm done. All their dishes and everything, they're all different shapes. This one's like a boat. <laughs> this one's like a little... You know that? This one's in the shape of a fan. park next so we're at the monkey park and basically we thought we were supposed to take the train and everything but the sweet old man at the hotel was like yeah. i'll drive you there and yeah, i was like the owner holy of the hotel, crap like, asked, i think I, I didn't understand it but uh i heard him say like car and mm -hmm. we're like oh uh -huh. <laughs> and he us. i'm like oh my god he's driving us all yeah. the way and, it, and yeah, yeah so now we're so at nice. like the start of the snow monkey hike yeah. and he was telling us about like his kid who's in his second year university learning English in Vancouver and he started saying a whole bunch of other things but I'm like my Japanese is so <laughs> limited I didn't Yo, understand half of mine it. is way worse so you at least can say a couple things but for me I'm just like uh yes yeah, that's awesome so all, all I did was just like uh-huh mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but anyways, we're here. The gift shop's not even open yet. Yeah, this one's closed, but I was just gonna show the live stream of the monkeys. You can't really see it clearly, but you can see some of the monkeys, which is cool. <laughs> this is the map. But yeah, we're gonna start hiking up this trail and uh, figure things out. Going on the hike with the ramp and the stairs. It's pretty scenic though, look at this. Crazy long trees in that river yeah. Yeah. looks like a 1.8 kilometer hike and we're from calgary alberta so we go on a lot of hikes so it should be nothing yeah, eh? right <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> ask that to our family <laughs> and they're like dying off like the most touristy hikes this is yeah. probably one of their touristy hikes definitely did not wear right shoes for my converses but i'm just wearing some nikes which is bad too. <laughs> this is so scenic. Like on the video, you can't really capture how beautiful it is, but mm -hmm. it's awesome. And we're the first ones here. We don't know that. We haven't like got to the actual park yet, but on that live stream, I don't think I saw any like people. people so unless that part's like kind of buried off, but who knows? <sighs> okay. I'm so tired already. <laughs> It's so sad. Well, we just ate as well, so I haven't much time to digest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we arrived pretty much at the park. We're close to it. There's the entrance. This is like an onsen. Your geyser. I'm not too sure what it's called. It's blowing up water, which is pretty cool. It's a nice bridge. And Sophia's checking out the sign. What'd you figure out? So we are here. <laughs> and there's a surprising amount of like hiking trails and everything around here. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go find the park then. Oh my god. So we 
we came across this mini geyser shooting hot air to the thing and then there's the sky <laughs> <laughs> so we're climbing up to the monkey park these stairs are so steep <sighs> I think so. Oh man, that's a big poo. I'm not sure it is. Man made hole in the ground? Looks like it. Did you just pump water out of it? Okay. Let's get in. So here's where we pay our admission fee. So we are here at the monkey park and there's like literally monkeys just Chilling. everywhere. There's this guy here. Oh my god, he's so close. Warming now. Day. It's fun. Lots of monkeys, so it was more than our expectations. Well, this one has a baby on it right here. Ooh. Just hanging. Bye, monkey. <laughs> and then there's more coming up here. What the heck, this one looks like it's being scratched or it looks like it's dead, but it's all oh, penis. <laughs> Just everywhere. <laughs> oh, 
leave now.